Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add more highlight colors in Microsoft. Once you use more highlight colors in Word, by default, Word has limited highlight options, but I'll show you how to add custom colors using shading and text effects. The first step is to use the built-in highlight colors, and to do that, just select your text. Now I'm going to write a text, and I'm going to select it. Now you select all the text and then go to your home tab, this one right here and click on the pencil icon that says text highlighting colors click on it and choose from the default colors for example I'm going to choose red and I'm going to select the select the text I'm going to click on home and I'm going to click on the icon and now it's uh, it's highlighted in red the second step is to use shading for more colors select the text or paragraph and then go to home tab and click the shading uh, button which is the paint bucket icon I'm going to select it here and I'm going to click here let's search for the bucket which is this one right here and I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to choose a color for example I'm going to choose purple you can choose from um, full color options including a custom RGB colors the third step is to use a custom colored shape and to do that just click on the insert tab and then click on shapes and then click on rectangle and paste it behind the tab this is uh, Let's see, let's look for let's click on shape format and then click on send backwards. Let's click on send backwards. And that's it. Shading works better for long text selections, while highlighting colors are quick emphasis. Combine shading and bold text for a visually stronger effect. And that's it. That's how you add more highlight colors in Word, using uh, shading and custom colors to make your text stand out the way you want. If you like this video and found this helpful, please like and subscribe, and feel free to leave a comment below the video if you have further more questions about this topic. Thanks for watching, and see you again in the next tutorial.